Hello, everyone. This is Xiao Jun. I'm going to introduce our work on adversarial edge detection for graph neural networks. So uh, we know that graph data is very important and common in practice. For example, social network, protein, recommendation system, and tree structures. All of these different kinds of data can be modeled in the graph structure. And usually, a graph structure is re represented with three different components. That is, the node sets, the edge sets, and the feature matrix of the nodes. And to deal with such kind of attack, the graph neural network is proposed, which is a class of model uh, that's in which the output is calculated using not only information from the current node, but also the information from the node in the neighborhood. With such kind of idea, uh, this helps the model to learn information from a wider perspective, and therefore the modeling performance can be improved. And graph neural networks are commonly used and can deal with various data. So the study of its robustness is also very important because we know that whenever there is uh, new techniques, there will be new security concerns. So actually many attacks on graph neural networks have been proposed. For example, uh, there are two main categories. In the first category, the attack is on the node feature space. This means that the attacker will add some perturbations on the node features so that the model prediction will be full. For this attack, it is similar with some standard machine learning attacks, for example, on mission tasks, because uh, both are launching the attack on a continuous perturbation space. However, recently, there are another type of attack that is proposed. Here, the attack will be launched on the edge space. So for example, in this figure, the malicious attacker will add two malicious red edges into the graph so that the model prediction will be fooled. And we will mainly focus on such kind of new attack because here the perturbation space is discrete. And in addition, we will mainly focus on the perturbation of adding edges instead of removing edges because this is a more popular and practical way to do the attack. For example, it is easier to add fake reviews rather than removing existing reviews in the recommendation systems. And to formalize our threat model, here the attacker will add edges to change the model prediction. And under this threat model, many different attacks have been proposed. For example, people have proposed to use gradient-based approach to perform the attack or use some surrogate model-based approach, or even will use some reinforcement learning technique to do the attack. All these different attacks will fall under this threat model. And our goal here is to detect all these attacks. And to be more specific, our goal is to detect the adversarially added edges in the graph. So here, given an untrusted graph, which may or may not contain malicious edges, we would like to build a machine learning model to tell us which edges are malicious. But now we are going to introduce our defense pipeline. Here, we will, provide a, we will first provide a high-level overview. So our model is mainly an ensemble model that consists of three different components. Each of these components will deal with different scenarios where malicious edges are, will happen. That is the link prediction algorithm, the graph generation algorithm, and outlier detection-based method. And finally, our final pipeline will be an ensemble of these three different components. And we, will, we are going to introduce each component in detail. So the first component is a link prediction model. Here, the intuition is very straightforward that if we have a link prediction model and apply on the graph, then the edges that have low probability of linkage should be malicious. And therefore, what we will do here is that we will train and apply a graph neural network-based link prediction model. And uh, we apply this model on the graph and those node pairs with uh, low probability of linkage 
are those that uh, are likely to be malicious. However, here, the problem is that we only have one graph and we will train and apply the model on the same graph. So the model will be trained on the untrusted graph and it is likely that uh, the model will learn the bad pattern from the malicious graph. That is, there are already malicious edges in the graph and therefore the model will learn that such kind of malicious edges are benign and therefore it will not be able to detect those malicious edges very well. So we can see that the key here is that the graph is trained on an untrusted graph and we hope that the model will be trained on clean graphs. In order to do this, our solution is to do subgraph sampling. This means that uh, after, set, suppose there are only a small set of ed uh, malicious edges on the graph, and we sample many small subgraphs from the from the graph. After the sampling, we will observe that most subgraphs are clean, as shown in this figure. So, of course, here we have an assumption. Uh, we have an assumption that uh, there will only be a small set of malicious edges. If there are already many many malicious edges, then such kind of sampling will bring some negative effect. However. If there are only a small set of malicious edges, then most of our sampled subgraphs will be clean. And in addition, we will do we can do some filtering to filter some suspicious edges given the previous results of link prediction model, so that uh, the subgraphs will be cleaner. Now we will have after the sampling, we will have a small set a, a set of small subgraphs. And our goal is to build some good models to detect malicious edges with these subgraphs. And our approach here is to build a graph generative model. This is because that graph generative model will usually have a good performance on the small graphs. So here we train a graph generative model and we apply it on the graph. So the edges that have the low probability of being generated will be likely to be malicious. And here, uh, to be more detailed, our generative model is a graph neural network that will iteratively generate one edge in each step with its graph neural network prediction. So we can observe that such kind of approach can usually perform well. However, we also observe a case that such approach will fail. That is, uh, we, we name it the collective power of malicious edges. Uh, the, the meaning of such kind of term is that uh, we can see it from the figure that uh, suppose only one edge is injected into the graph. That is the case on the left side of the figure. We can observe that uh, in this case, the malicious edge can be easily detected even by human eyes because we see that uh, the yellow node in the purple box, we name it the target node. We can see that the target node is usually connected with only yellow edge with only yellow nodes. However, there is one edge that this target node is connected with the blue node. So this this phenomenon might be abnormal, and the model will easily detect it as a malicious edge. However, if multiple edges are injected together, that is the case on the right side of the figure. We will observe that now uh, with all these edges, it is rather difficult to tell that there are any malicious edges because uh, now for the purple node, uh, sorry, for the node in the purple box, the target node, we can observe that it is connected with both yellow nodes and blue nodes. So the pattern here may seem to be that this yellow target node are some general nodes that is connected with both yellow and blue nodes. And therefore it is normal for it to connect it with these blue nodes and none of the malicious edges will be detected. So in order to detect such kind of collective power, our intuition is that this such kind of phenomena should be a rare case in the graph. There will be a not there will not be a lot of such cases in the graph, and therefore we can recognize it with outlier detection algorithms. 
So the key here is what features we extract for such kind of case. We hope that our case should be representative of, of such kind of collective power. Therefore, uh, we propose a feature-based outlier detection model and the features include the number of different classes in the neighbor, the average number of each class, the number of most, second most, and variance of the number of uh, classes in each class. And finally, we will also include some graph features like the logarithm of the between centrality. And with all these features, we will build a final outlier detection model with one class SVM. And we will show that such kind of approach can detect uh, the collective power well. Finally, uh, we will aggregate all these three detections together. So the link prediction algorithm will be used to filter the suspicious edges. And we have a score for each approach. And our final prediction as an, is a weighted average of the predicted score of each component. Now we will introduce our experiment results. Uh, we mentioned that there are many different types of attacks. So here we use three very representative and popular attacks as our study object, uh, namely single edge attack, multi edge attack, and meta attack. Uh, the first two attacks, in the first two attacks, there will be a target node, and the edges are injected in order to fool the model prediction on the target node. For multi edge attack. There is a case where all the malicious edges are connected with the target node. So in this case, we can uh, guess that the collective power will happen. And there are also indirect attack where none of the edges will be connected with the target node. For the data set, we will use two very popular citation networks, that is Cora and Cicea. And we will also use a rule management system this is a data set from the eBay company. Here, we will first show the detection of AOC of our model compared with existing link prediction algorithms. And our experiment is uh, done against different attacks. We can see that our approach can indeed achieve a pretty good performance in detecting these kind of different attacks. And Recall that we mentioned before, each of our components will be focused on different scenarios of the attack. Therefore, if we know what attack will happen, we can choose the specific detection component that is designed for that attack approach. And in the table here, uh, we show the performance of the detection AUC with the knowledge of the attack and we are going to use the specific detection pipeline that is designed for the attack. And we can see that the detection performance can be further improved with the, with the knowledge of the attack. And finally, we will show the result of adaptive attack. This means that uh, we consider the case where the attacker already knows our detection and he is going to design some adaptive strategies so that they would like to bypass our detection. So here we design a strategy for the attack and we show that uh, that adaptive attack strategy will not work. The, the strategy we design for the attacker is that we, will, we assume that the attacker will first run the ESOP pipeline. And uh, by running our pipeline, he will ca calculate the malicious score for each node pair. And he will know that which node pairs seems to be malicious to the model and which node pairs, pairs uh, seem to be benign to the model. And he will only inject the edges with low malicious scores. Um, as we observed in the experiments, such kind of attack strategy can indeed bypass our detection pipeline because uh, he will only inject edges with low malicious score. However, we show that with such kind of strategy, the attack success rate will be much lower. So as shown in this figure, the upper part is the standard attack and the lower part is the adaptive attack in which the attacker only injects uh, seemingly benign edges. And we can see that uh, the attack success rate is greatly reduced 
if the, the attacker would like to choose the adaptive attack strategy. So that is basically uh, our research results. And here are the takeaways. First, we propose an ensemble model to detect adversarial edges. Second, we show that the detection performance can be further improved if we have the knowledge of the attack and choose the corresponding detection component. And finally, we show that the adaptive attack, which aims to bypass our pipeline, is difficult and will have a great cost in the attack success rate. That's all. Thank you for listening.